Yo, 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 what is up, fam? Today we're going to be checking out the island boys deserve their fa failure, so let's check it out. Our money coming in. Right. Like, I don't if you guys don't know, they've been going viral so many times here and there. They, they'd be doing something vi something wild all the time, guys. Oh, for sure. And, like, people think they got millions of dollars. They don't. Two weeks ago, one of the islands... Uh, they 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 have a lot. They have a lot. They're living in a mansion, guys. <laughs> Island Boys was arrested for domestic battery against his girlfriend. This was the final event that made it clear the Island Boys' careers are over. Guys, do you think that it's over? I know this is a clickbaity video, but... And you could almost feel bad for how much they've fallen off considering they're now broke, but looking back, there's actually seven more moments that make... It's the initial spark that, you know, got them where they are, guys. Like, I, I don't think they are really falling off. Like, they're still on TikTok doing lies and stuff. It's blatantly obvious that they did this to themselves. Oh, you're going broke, sir. Like, uh, last I seen on TikTok earlier yesterday, they had like 10K viewers. So. Save that money. Man, I'm driving a $100,000 truck. I got over $200,000 in jewelry. The Island Boys took over the internet in just a couple weeks back in 2021, but today their views have been going down month after month. As nearly a million views per video, that's not bad, guys. It's just a slow point because, you know, uh, there's other like content creators. I don't know. They, they really aren't trying to, you know, be too controversial that much you know this video maybe they're getting like comfortable with the fame and uh, money but i don't know was just uploaded to the official island boys tiktok page where it seems like they just can't cope with the fact that they've fallen off showing one of them flushing diamonds down a toilet claiming that they're still rich y'all talking about these diamonds what? those that y'all said got repo wait that? those are the diamonds you have your teeth i'm gonna show you something <gasps> don't do that's too bro that's but yeah there's a lot of haters online and uh, you know it's like a barrage of hate comments, no matter what you're doing, guys. As we see their desperate at, at that point of fame, guys. Attempts to stay relevant in the long run, the brothers are only further digging themselves into a hole that they won't be able to come out of, which has already led to more and more problems in their personal lives. At this point, it's well known that the Island Boys first became famous because of their Island Boy freestyle, which was actually the beginning of their downfall. Cause I'm an island boy, and I've been trying to make. Oh. I actually like this song. I think it was a very cool song, and I, I did a uh, watch one of their videos. No, the video, their video when it came out. I'm an island boy. Naturally, this video was so ridiculous that it blew up everywhere, and suddenly the twins had a platform to share their music with. However, right from the beginning, there was a problem. Their absurd appearance and way of speaking just added more hilarity to their videos, and people would tune in constantly to mock them. The Island Boys were not discovered for having. Sure, they're going for that type of aesthetic to, like, you know, be different from everybody else. You know, Post Malone did it. I'm sure that it was an influence in what they're doing right here now guys some crazy hidden talent they were famous for being bad at rapping the whole point behind why the island boys actually blew up was just to laugh at two people who were very unaware that they themselves were the joke though you could argue any attention is good for people who want fame the millions of views they got didn't lead to any actual long-term plan for them to stay consistently on top their popularity definitely could have been used to make a real opportunity for them to create music and start a career why does one island boy have so many more followers than the other guy? Here, but from 1.2 million to 7.4. In the very beginning, the siblings seemed much more interested in the luxury that came with the fame and not the hard work required to get there. That point aside, their music was also just horrible. When and there can only be like one Mr. Beast, right? They're they're musicians. When they did release music. The one song. And TikTokers for the most part. What they officially came out with it was considered a flop and stopped their rap career dead in its tracks as soon as it had even started. The duo did end up releasing other songs after their first hit, but they were barely even noticed compared to what started it all. For now, hey, that happens with so many artists, guys. It's you think they're signed or something? I, I'm not sure if they are or not. Although, whether or not the brothers had any talent didn't really matter, as they did manage to make a good amount of money from their one video that did go viral. They're getting ad revenue from it. Bam, there's a 
consistent income on YouTube, consistent income on TikTok. Now they have the like creator program on TikTok where they pay one thousand dollars per I mean one one dollar per thousand views. So hey, three hundred dollars for three hundred K views. That's cracked, guys. You get seven cents per thousand views on YouTube, man. Right there, they could have walked away with a decent chunk of money that could have set them up for the long term, but like so many others, they wanted to remain in the spotlight. As the Island Boys continued to get more and more views on TikTok and YouTube, it was never in a positive way. Though many up-and-coming artists have faced some serious criticism, they still managed to eventually grow legitimate fan bases. However, the Island Boys never deviated nor developed themselves and just kept doing the same things over and over again without knowing where they wanted to end up. They would be asked multiple times about their long-term plans and it would always seem to be some half-baked answer about being at the top of the charts and then continuing their legacy. What the Island Boys did do, however, is create a whole new meme that creators could emulate to make- uh, yeah. I remember when everybody made memes about their hair, guys. It's like, they're indirectly- They're kind of directly just, you know, helping with the popularity of, you know, social media just by- being there guys because you know that now there's something to parody and stuff make fun of the pair and this is exactly what the internet did i'm an island boy i'm just, just trying to make oh i'm an island boy hey i'm a just island boy of course this ended up giving the siblings more attention so in the short term they started making some decent money off of their pages but as the money came in their judgment became more and more clouded as they thought they were genuinely good as they ended up featuring on multiple podcasts and talk shows, it became increasingly clear that they truly thought that they were some of the greatest performers alive. And they were getting a lot of big paychecks for doing it as well. It even got to a point that they would claim that they no longer listened to rap music because there was no one else that could compare to them. This lack of self-awareness only created more comedy as whenever they would try to flex, it would just end up being incredibly hard. It's quite a bit of cash though. It's a huge Too amount. Much. Hey man, look, listen man. Name a rapper that can really do this, you hear me? <laughs> Their ego clearly needed some deflating as they genuinely believed that they could take on anyone anywhere and once again people had something to say about it. Comments on their boxing TikToks would range from quote, you're right, no other rapper can do that, to quote, I, <laughs> He's going ham, bro. He's I have never been so convinced that I could beat someone in a fight. Guys, if your brother was like, yo, let's be viral, let's get a bunch of tattoos, would you do that? Showing how no one but themselves actually took them seriously. Though the Island Boys would claim that they couldn't care less about the haters, Oh, many tattoos, bro. Eyelid tattoos, everything, man. It was clear that they were insecure about it. I see them all the time. I don't know why they pop up. Yeah, and time. if they're hating on me, it's just because they really love me. Because I see the haters check up on me more than the love, so. Appreciating your haters for checking in on you is fine, but at some point, the content has to change or their career will die. Luckily enough for the Island Boys, their content at the time was still going viral, and since it was pretty ineffective, It's not like they're crashing down to only like a couple thousand views per video, you know? Expensive, they could keep doing what they were doing, but that wouldn't always be the case. It's well known that many YouTubers have lost their careers over just being unlikable, but at this point, the Island Boys weren't there just yet. People were genuinely enjoying their content because of how unaware they were, and even if it lasted for a moment, they did capitalize on it. But problems then arose when the brothers were offered genuine advice. I think if God forbid it doesn't go in your guys' direction, for real, I think you guys take all Cause there's a whole video about this uh third podcaster on the Logan the impulsive show and how he left the the show eventually. All of your jewelry assets. I think they should let him back on. That'd be cool. It's an investment in something. So you guys will never ever be broke again. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, George. Stop talking. We have multiple. <laughs> Wait, that was. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that was that was nah, for you guys. Gonna, you that wasn't like a hate I shot. I don't need I don't yeah. need financial yeah, advice. We don't when need I probably make more money than you. But that was me being nice. It wasn't okay. me being like an asshole. Whether it was. They're always flaming George on that podcast, man. I did not see that clip. Out of pure delusion or incredible narcissism, the duo genuinely thought that they had it all figured out, refusing to take advice from anyone who even tried to act as a mentor towards them. Though there are many people in this world who would try to take advantage of the young men who now have a decent stream of income, there were people who genuinely just had advice for the pair.
Why does the fame or the hate always come with the fame and cash, man? But whenever financials were brought up, the brothers would erupt. George Janko was offering them real advice, and they immediately took it as disrespect, even walking off of the show, which left the host genuinely surprised as to what went wrong. The Island Boys took the comment so personally that they even came back to try to threaten George one more time before Logan himself stepped in to actually end the beat. Yo, yo. Uh, yeah, I remember this clip. <laughs> I bet in the back of everybody's minds, he's like, yo, we're gonna go viral with this clip, you know? We're gonna get a bunch of more views from it. Thug it, bro, right? You know that, right? Why don't we just let Cooler Heads prevail? Why don't we just happened? let Cooler Heads prevail? You know how to do listen, that. I told you, end it already. Even the bottles are, oh, like, on the side. The water bottles and everything. Where's the Prime, guys? I thought they only, they only drink Prime on... You haven't... And is this before Prime was a thing? I'm talking about it. I don't know if y'all are serious, but... I'm, no, I'm we're, not serious. No. We're done, we're done, we're done. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. This was where the true downfall really started. The money that was coming in was one thing. I hope he mentions the thing that happened with Vume and Baby Lose. Thing. But disrespecting other YouTubers and people who were trying to help them to create a plot. Yeah, it was definitely before Prime, guys. Look at the Fiji water and everything. The form rubbed everybody the wrong way. Unsurprisingly, their fall from fame continued and was highlighted by the fact that the Island Boys genuinely thought that they were the best thing that's ever happened to hip hop. But they were so lost in their own world that they couldn't understand that the joke was built around them and their hair taking zero preparation for the inevitable decline of their fame. By this point, the Island <laughs> they did end up cutting those that hairstyle, guys. But look at it, man. It's wild. And boy meme had run its course, and to stay relevant, the duo was going to have to start looking into other ventures, but they never did. Because of this, fans were catching on that there was no way they were making as much money that they claimed and were questioning them pretty hard, but they would still deny all of it, saying that they're somehow still loaded. The siblings never ended up capitalizing and putting away safe investments from their original momentum and kept coming back to their only single, which only highlighted how bad they truly were. However, because they were still... Like I said, it happens with so many artists, guys. Still so confident in themselves, they would get into more and more altercations with people, which soon led them to be booed in public or even at their own shows. As their reputation got- Dang, bro. Never, never a good thing to happen, guys. Worse, they were- I, I guess that he's not gonna mention the whole thing that happened with, like, the other island boys. They, he added, like, three more. They added three more, guys. No longer able to go- And they all kicked- they kicked them all off, basically. But they're, they're friends with like one one of them, which is uh, I forget who. Anywhere without getting called out. Hey, you feel me? Look, I thought you was living some type of way in real life though. Ain't you really like that though? You say you gangster everywhere you go, right? And outside of being threatened in public, the Island Boys were also unable to go anywhere without ruining everything. A perfect example of this is when the siblings were almost removed from one of the Jake Paul fights because people started claiming that they threw a shoe at someone, but looking back at the footage, you can see that they actually didn't do anything wrong. That- Dang, bro, they can't even chill at the spot. The, at the freaking Jake Paul battle, man. Jake Paul's gonna fight in like eight days, man. It didn't seem to bother the crowd, though, because at one point, everyone in the stadium was chanting for them to be removed. Now- Dang, bro, it's like when uh, K KSI kicked uh, Jake Paul out. Well, in this instance- He wouldn't start the fight without Jake Paul leaving. The Island Boys didn't actually do anything to deserve to be kicked out, but their reputation had gotten so out of hand that they couldn't go anywhere without being ridiculed. This may seem slightly sad, but at this point, the siblings have talked so much trash about other people and rejected so much help that they truly did this to themselves. Both have bragged a bunch of times about being from the streets and have threatened people by saying that they're quote thugging, so it's no surprise that trouble started coming their way. It's interesting to point out that today, the Island Boys spend most of their time doing exactly what they did when they first blew up on TikTok, constantly making videos responding to comments on their videos. Yeah, that's kind of the meta. It's one of the metas on TikTok, guys, but it's not required to be the meta. Though the brothers do have millions of followers between TikTok and Instagram combined, they only have a couple small, truly monetizable YouTube channels, with the biggest being Big Bag Entertainment that only has 245,000 subscribers. That's not a small amount at all, guys. Since their first single that gained... It's like 50 times the amount I have, 
m more more actually more 23 million views every other video since then has yet to crack 200 000. currently they're at rock bottom it happens when you mainly focus on TikTok, guys. And though they were a laughing stock, on TikTok, the siblings kept trying to impress their followers with their claims of being insanely rich and would continuously address the hate. Not my bank account says that. Not my engagements or anything that I reach. Uh, Come on, Amber. I think I've gone up uh, 15 minutes. It's a little too short, bro. Though they were still flaunting. They're, they're still on top as one of the best creators on there, man. Most, one of the most popular. Massive not like they just like quit posting or something you know or quit you know got one tenth of the views or even one hundredth maybe one tenth but not one hundred homes and one one hundred one one hundredth of the views would be a lot but if we go in their analytics i'm sure it's not that bad but this video was posted one month ago cars claiming that it's all theirs a bombshell would be dropped by their ex-manager on a podcast explaining what was really going on behind the scenes see according to their ex-manager who they still owe hundred and fifty thousand dollars the tiktok stars literally have no money to their names right now th there's no more money coming in like, right i know for sure and like people think they got millions of dollars they don't he exposed to the world that they had been renting all of the cars and houses that they were flexing and that it was all just a stunt it's a common thing in the industry man you can't it's so much money to go viral though they would constantly reject financial advice it seems like george janko's predictions came true whether they did end up selling their jewelry or not is unknown but their bank accounts are running dry the reckless spending and clout chasing seems to have caught up for them yet they still don't admit that they aren't as rich as they claim at this point the island I wouldn't do that much, man. But then again, I'm not trying to chase that. Life. Boys are becoming an even bigger joke than they were before, but they weren't lying about everything. See, alongside claiming to be rich, the siblings also spoke frequently about being thugs and criminals. Although the entire world disagreed with them, they would eventually break the law as well, but not in any way that would build up their street cred. Because two weeks ago, Kodiak Red, one of the Island Boy siblings, was just arrested for physically abusing his longtime partner. Apparently, Dang, got a got a tattoo of his partner. The two man. had an argument where she threatened to break up. Her with him due to his physical abuse and he responded by smacking her across the face leading to her collapsing into the pool hitting her head on the wall police confirmed that her bruises matched the description of the events and kodiak red was arrested at his rented home in pompano dang kodiak red don't be doing that yo that's all bad. beach a couple hours later kodiak did end up posting bail to get out and let his fans know that he's now a He's, he's rich enough to post bail, guys. That's not that poor. Free man. I know I look fucked up right now. I was sitting in county jail for three days and stuff like that. 24 hours lockdown. But I'm out, man. I'm free. Brr. Though he is now out of prison, fans are worried that this may lead to more. Why they call it prison, guys? More issues is this is not the first. It's jail. <laughs> time that the. They, 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 they say it's the same a lot, but it's quite the difference, bro boys have had run-ins with the law the signs were super clear from the beginning with this case as his girlfriend actually ended up getting kodiak red's name tattooed on her face in a weird show of loyalty so show them the face tattoo you got my name she got red tatter on her face you see it r-e-d-d -D. tell them stop playing though one of the island boys have now served actual prison time their reputation is not going to be yeah, way back then they did. Restored. With a lack of real talent and no true friends in their corner to help them, the duo is definitely going through some tough times. As their careers continue to decline, it'll only be a matter of time before they'll no longer be able to flex on social media, falling further into debt, and it will be their own fault for the way that they handled their short-term fame. That's a video. Peace out for one. It reminds me of a Sunny V2 video, but you know what I mean? Almost exactly like it. But yeah, guys, that's a video. Check out the original creator and his Christian, and I'll see you guys next one.